Taking the ferry to Ho-Hum Beach with her toddler is something Electra Wiedemann doesn't take for granted. The Bellport resident is a former fashion model with a master's degree in biomedicine. So naturally, she's interested in preserving our environment and recently had a wake up call. Last summer when my baby was a real baby baby, I came for a walk on the beach and I walked for 30 minutes and the beach was just covered in trash. In 30 minutes, I picked up an entire trash bag's worth of microplastics and this and that. And I just felt like it was such a tragedy. It was kind of watching my childhood you know, fantasy place that I grew up and played in just become covered in trash. And then I started thinking about what this place was gonna be like for my baby. That's why this excursion is for more than just a leisurely day on the water. Electra collected this container of tote bags to bring to the beach. She got a group of friends together to head across the Great South Bay on a ferry to support her new tote bag cleanup project. Today, uh, this is the start of a project that I think will be very exciting for the village. Uh, keeping our beach clean, it's very important. Uh, Bellport Mayor Raymond Fell is standing behind her idea. Uh, as people walk the beach, as they find uh, bottles, glass, uh, balloons, they'll pick them up. Uh, they'll bring them back to the uh, snack bar and then uh, at the end of the night uh, the ferry will bring it over here and uh, we'll, we will uh, take it over to the highway yard uh, the next morning. Once the ferry pulled into Bellport Beach, Electra brought out laminated signs explaining how visitors can help. Then the crew grabbed their totes and got right to work. We walked with Electra along the boardwalk and passed a woman with a wagon full of trash. Bellport and Old Inlet? Yeah. Good job. You did a lot of your work. What's your reaction to that? I'm so happy. I'm so happy that people... I noticed that people were doing this themselves, right? Like whenever me and my friends would go, we would just automatically pick up trash. And so this felt, this cleanup and the way it's organized, I hope is kind of slipping into things that people are already doing. It's not demanding a new habit or a new, you know, set of behaviors. It's kind of just encouraging what's already there and giving people bags to pick up more trash. Our drone captured the groups in action, trekking along Fire Island. And what they found wasn't pretty. You can just see balloons and styrofoam and just detritus everywhere you look. <laughs> so How does it make you feel? Hey, this is a beautiful beach. It shouldn't be covered in trash. So somebody's got to pick it up. Might as well be us. And just look at what they cleaned up in a few hours without even going far. It was really scary how I only walked probably less than a mile and I found like probably at least this much garbage. We're finding some styrofoam, some plastics, a pair, some underwear, which Ira rescued courageously. In the end, bags stuffed with debris were loaded up by friends and volunteers onto the ferry. And collectively, they say they had a good time in the process. They're ready to get back out there and do even more to help heal our planet, starting at the places closest to their hearts. We love our beach, our whole home beach. We love it and we have to take care of it. And I think everybody's motivated to keep the beach clean. We all have children, grandchildren, babies, and we want it to be clean. We want it to be clean for them, but we want it to be clean also for the animal, for the piping plover, who is uh, an endangered animal. And they believe they will make a change. When, when Electra puts her mind to something, she's pretty incredible. So excited to see her taking leadership. I think everybody is so excited to support what she's doing and support this beach. From Fire Island, Rebecca Fatts.